Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, in 2016, Pyrocynical was rumored to be dating a underage French girl. It was unclear on the age of this girl because these allegations came from Pyro's old friends who kept giving me different ages. And I came out publicly saying, you know, Pyro was dating this girl and she was this age and she was that age because, quite frankly, his friends just kept giving me different ages. He responded in a Reddit post basically saying that he didn't date this girl, that they were just friends, nothing sexual took place, nothing sexual ever happened between them. And that Keemstar was making false pedo allegations. I never knew if anything sexual was going on, or if they were dating, or if they were just friends. I really didn't know. All I knew is that there were these allegations against him made by Pyro's old friends. And I did manage to get these DMs that proved that there was some type of relationship going on between Pyro and this underage French girl. And Pyro responded to it basically just saying that, you know, they were just friends or whatever. But it was clear in these DMs that I had access to that Pyro was saying, I will wait until you turn 16. So it was clear that Pyro knew that this individual was underage. And um, today I have her on the line. I finally got a hold of her four years later. And so I'd like to introduce you to Lou, the underage French girl. How's it going, Lou? Um, it's going great. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, a little awkward to to be in this situation. Um, so, <laughs> I guess where do we start? Uh, when when did you first meet Pyro? Do you remember? Uh, you know how old you were? How old he was? So I met Pyro back in 2015 when I was 14 years old and he was 18 years old. Um, I was a fan artist for him and his group of friends. So all these YouTubers um, in the community he was in. I drew him a lot because, well, he was my favorite of them all. Um, to show me his support, he followed me. And so later on, I thanked him and talked to him in DMs. And that's how we became friends. So you guys, you know, became friends. He, You were making art for him. Were you making, like, I, I think you told me off air that you were making, like, his avatars and stuff for him. Yeah, the, the fox one. Yeah. His avatar. Yep. The furry one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the furry one, I guess. The furry one. Um, so at some point, this develops into a romantic relationship. W when did that take place? Well, not very long after. Um, I guess we'll have known each other for like a few months before this happened. Mm -hmm. In DMs, we did start maybe a little bit flirting, saying that, well, we like each other's personalities and he appreciates what I do for him and I appreciate his company. Um, so it was quite, you know, young love, like where you have a crush. Right. It, yeah. Were you, you know, he said that, like, you know, he never dated you, like that you weren't mm -hmm. his girlfriend. But w were you boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah, we were. In the sense of, like, e-dating, right? Because you never met yeah. each other in real life, but you were e-dating online. Mm -hmm, exactly. And so, you know, I know I talked to you off air, and, and you told me, like, nothing sexual actually did happen, which is good on Pyro's part, right? Yeah. Uh, but something wrong took place, right? You're, you're dealing with uh, a whole situation where he's a YouTuber. Uh, you're a younger person that looks up to him. There's a working relationship there where he's, you, you know, you're making art for him. And the two of you yeah. start dating. Uh, a lot of this stuff comes across innocent. But then when you look at the ages, like it, there, something wrong is going on here. So at the time you were 14, Pyro was 18, correct? Yeah. And when you were dating and considered boyfriend and girlfriend, and it was a it was a short period of time, how long were you dating? Only about two weeks. Two weeks. So in the course of this two weeks, again, I, it, just for the Internet's sake, what were the ages? Still 14 and 18. Okay. 
And Pyro's response when I started talking about these allegations that his friends, again, his friends told me about this. These were not my allegations. And I wasn't, you know, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I wasn't sure if any of this was true. I was talking about what his friends told me. Um, but it turned out it was true. Uh, in his response, he said that you were 15 years old and he was 18. Why, why did he say that you were 15? I have no idea. Maybe to make it less shocking. Maybe to make the age gap smaller by a year because maybe people thought it would be not nicer but less wrong because... But what if Pyrocynical responds to this and says, well, she, she lied about her age. She told me that she was older. He knew I was born in 2001, which would have made me 14 years old when it was 2015. Did he know the month you were born? Just, I got, I'm sorry, this is like, but we have to know this stuff because, I, <laughs> you know, if there's any little hole of like, you know, plausible de deniability, he's going to take it, right? Well, we surely told each other's birthdays. I mean, it's what you do when you get to know someone. So he probably knew I was born in July. Now, I guess people would want to know what was the nature of the relationship, right? You know, if sexual stuff is not happening, like if no one's exchanging nudes, if no one's, mm -hmm. you know, role playing or having this sexual texting type conversations, right, without pictures, but, you know, just stuff like that. What was the relationship then? Really, it was just like the most simple relationship you could ever imagine. I guess him and I had interest into games and what he was doing as well as fan arts and all these things. We just got along well with our personalities as well. It was really simple there was no I mean, was there what, was there any like you're cute like i like the, you're pretty do i like the way you look like is there this type of stuff is that what we're talking about probably yeah yeah i think it is i I must, I must have sent him like pictures of me and he i know he sent me a selfie once when he was with his dog i think <laughs> and i did think he was cute yeah. and i think i made an exception for him and did show myself and he probably Highly said I was pretty, but I don't think that. But now he ends up in these DM conversations breaking it off with you, right? Yeah. And in the conversation, it's very clear that you're accusing him of breaking up with you because, you know, for fame and he doesn't want it to hurt his YouTube channel and he doesn't want to come across looking like a pedo, right? Mm -hmm. Was that was that the scenario? Why did you guys break up? Well, when all these allegations came up, when either my friends or his friends wanted to make it all public, he came up to me saying that this won't work, that this will just, you know, make him seem like a very bad person. And he decided to tell me that we should just end everything. That was good. That was good on his part that he did that. But yeah, I got to be brutally honest. That's why you got to call this stuff out. You know, I was talking on a stream about Pyro's friends telling me about these allegations. And I was talking about it publicly. And Pyro tried to twist my words. He took me out of context, making it seem like I was coming up with these allegations. And I took a lot of hate, a ton of hate at the time in 2016. But the facts of the matter is that stopped this online relationship between you and Pyro, right? Yeah. I'm happy about that. Um, there's more that we talked about in private that has little to do with Pyro, but Pyro is still involved. After you broke up with Pyro, or you know, he broke up with you, rather, um, mm -hmm. you started dating another person in his his friend group, right? Yeah. And did Pyro know this other person's age he did and how old was the other person that you started dating 23 23 and how old were you 14 turning 15 <laughs> how many who knew about this right because i know 
we're going to get into it and we're going to talk about it. Um, this other relationship that you were, you were in, but what other YouTubers knew about this, that this, this 23 year old YouTuber was dating 14 year old you at the time turning 15 year old you who knew about this. So obviously there was pyro that knew about it, anything for views and dull and dark. Was there anyone else? What? Because in these DMs, there's a notify or nopify alt, or uh, that's how I know him on Twitter. Nopify? Did he know about it? I don't think I've talked to him about it. I think he only really was like concerned about Pyro and I. What now was nopify trying to get you guys to break up? Like, what was his whole angle? I'm curious because he's been defending Pyro pretty hard on social media. I honestly don't remember, but I do think he was. I mean, most people who put out these allegations wanted us to just finish everything off to protect him. Yeah. Okay, so you start dating this other YouTuber, um, and his name is? Ancient Reality. Ancient Reality. People know that this is a very inappropriate relationship. Why didn't anybody say anything? publicly i have no idea why i anything for views try to help me and sadly i denied it because i was very stupid and nobody else tried to help or thought it was wrong they just they talked about it to me they never said it was bad or never considered asking me to leave the the relationship I talked to anything for views today and he was desperately trying to get you to come to me and, and tell me about this other relationship. Again, not involving pyro um, because horrible things happen in that relationship to the point where you went to the police, right? Yeah. If you're comfortable about it, do you want to talk about like what took place? Um, I would be more comfortable if you could say it. Okay. I trust you. Well, the way I understand it, based on our private conversations, you flew to Ancient Reality's hometown uh, in Sweden. Is that correct? No, he's Netherlands. 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 See, do you, do you really trust me? Are you sure you trust me with this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not sure anymore. Um, you flew. I'm you flew to the Netherlands. And he flew to France. You both visited. Well, I, we took a train, but it's the same. Took yeah. a train. <laughs> See, I, are you sure you trust me with this story? Because I'm going to butcher it. But you guys were f meeting each other in real life. Mm -hmm. And at the time that you were meeting each other, you have turned 15, correct? Or, you, or were you still 14? Still 14. Still 14. You're meeting each other, and both of you start lying about your ages. Uh, he starts saying that he's younger, and mm -hmm. then you start saying that you're older, so this doesn't seem to be an issue. Yeah. Um, that's one thing that I heard is that, you know, you were lying about your age. You were lying about your age. You know, that's one thing I heard kind of behind the scenes. When did you start lying about your age? What was the first time that you started saying that you were older than, than what you were? Uh, he wanted me to tell that I was 16 so he wouldn't seem like, you know, it was very bad. So the first time you start lying about your age is after the pyro online e-dating relationship. I was always very open about my age. I stopped lying way before all of this happened. I used to be quite self-conscious when I was way younger, about 12 or 13, which I added a year. But when I turned 14, I didn't feel like it was necessary anymore to lie about it. Oh, so again, because people will take that and run with it, right? Again, with mm -hmm. with Pyro, you he knew your exact age. The like he knew that you were fourteen years old when he was eighteen, right? But so yeah. this situation. Sorry, we got kind of sidetracked here. Um, but I want to talk about ancient reality because what transpired is statutory rape in, in both countries. Mm -hmm. Correct. 
Yeah. Multiple times. Mm -hmm. To the point where you went to the police. And yeah. Ancient Realities, he has appeared to leave the internet entirely. He hasn't been seen. He hasn't made a post on Twitter since 2018. Do you know where he is? Do you know if he ever got arrested? Do you know if he's facing charges? All I know is that investigation has been transported to the Netherlands, but I still do not have any answers from court or anything. My problem with what happened to you is that there were key people that knew that this happened and they could have stopped it. You know, you have, you know, all these different YouTubers, ex especially Pyro. Pyro had firsthand knowledge. If he would have came out and said, look, I know this girl's age. This relationship is going on. He could have put a stop to it like I put a stop to you and Pyro's relationship before it got to a point of statutory rape. Is that a true statement? Yeah. I feel like as a whole, this YouTube online internet community, when we when we make excuses for this type of stuff, when we give people an out, when we don't hold people accountable, or when those like Pyro, who made a mistake, clearly e-dating someone that was way underage, when he doesn't come out publicly and he isn't honest about this, it makes a scenario in which something serious takes place, which is what happened. Um... Mm -hmm. I don't I don't feel proud that I've been vindicated, right? <laughs> I don't feel proud that I was right this whole time. I just I feel sad that this happened. And it could have been prevented. <sighs> Recently Pyro um was involved in another scandal with him role playing some disgusting sexual furry stuff with a 15-year-old. And Pyro's defense is that he didn't know the person's age. What are your thoughts on, on that situation? And I know you told me that you didn't, you haven't seen everything. You've just seen a few stuff. Well, I just recently, like a few minutes ago, read about it all. I think the, I don't know their age um, excuse is way too easy because people are going to be like, well, he didn't know. So I'll just, you know, it's an, it's a great excuse. I'll I'll prove that in, he's innocent or anything. I don't think it's a very great excuse because, well, it's so easy to make the victim yeah. um, get hate just by saying, well, they did this, so uh, what I did was right even when it's wrong. Yeah, you know, the... the the audience, a lot of times, with some of these YouTubers, they're, they're children, right? Pyro has mm -hmm. a bunch of kid fans. I'm not saying all of his fans are kids, but he does have a bunch of kid fans. And when you're a kid, you don't really know right from wrong in these scenarios. I mean, you were a kid at the time. You were 14. Clearly, you didn't know right from wrong. Why is mm -hmm. that? Is it, is it because when we're kids, we feel like we're adults? And then we don't understand that this is wrong until we're actually adults. I think you just don't understand the proportion of how bad it can get. You're not mature enough to know what other people are thinking. And you believe way too easily that this person is nice or this person wants to be good with you when... They just have other intentions which are not very great with you. Yeah. Well, I see it with the audience. I see it with the viewers. They're just easily manipulated when it's a younger audience. It happens all the time online. What do you think, um, you know, the, the ancient reality guy, that guy should be arrested if he's guilty of, of all this stuff. I, you know, that's just, in my opinion, based on what you told me, that's a closed shut case. But what do you think Pyro 
um, should do in response to this finally four years later coming public and, and the truth being put out there? What should his response to all this be, you think? I think the best for Pyro would just to admit to his past mistakes and try to prove either that he can become someone who's trustworthy and maybe honestly apologize to whoever he might have hurt in the past or anyone he might have wanted to take advantage of. I think he should just be honest and not yeah. try to modify what people say about allegations he's received or anything like that. I've seen a lot of talk online when I brought up the underage French girl recently. I've seen a lot of talk from his fans that just said, you know, Keem hates Pyro. He'll do anything to yeah. destroy Pyro, right? Um, and yeah, I hate him. You know, he, he, he lied and manipulated, you know, this attack video on me in 2016. You know, he took my clips out of context to make it seem like these were my allegations. He mm-hmm. made up this scenario in which he was claiming that I doxed him. And one minute, I got to believe it or not, Chad, anything for views is calling me over and over again. Um, but he made up this scenario in which he, he accused me of doxing him by uh, showing his face, even though he did a face reveal, like, mm. you know, months prior to to me tweeting out a picture of his face. So, yeah, I, I, I don't like him. You know, I, you know, if someone wrongs you, you're not going to like that person. Uh, but, you know, facts are facts, right? You know, mm-hmm. he was e-dating you. You know, he knew yeah. that you were 14 and you were dating a 23-year-old and said nothing and did nothing. And if I could defend Pyro at all in this scenario, Pyro is 18 years old at the time, right? He's not yeah. 23. He's not – he doesn't have enough life experience. And when you are this age, you're going to make stupid, uh, you know, stupid mistakes and, and do dumb stuff. Uh, but – he's 23 years old now i think Mm -hmm. it's it i think it's time to man up and take responsibility for some of these old mistakes but i'm gonna leave it there um is there anything else that the internet should know about this scenario not really i think i've said enough i know we talked offline that you're worried that people are gonna you know, hate on you or whatever, just attack you just for, you know, what are you guilty of? Just telling the truth, you know, like, yeah, I mean, my goal is not to make people hate Pyro. I just wanted to clear out everything that's been said in the past. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for coming on. And, um, I'm sorry that all this happened to you, sincerely.